Welcome back to what I believe is the final segment in this series about connecting to Hashem in everyday life. Obviously, it's impossible to exhaust the topic, and uh, we'll probably be continuing it on in other ways as this series goes on. I'd like to start just by thanking everyone who sent in encouraging emails, whether to me personally or to the yeshiva, for starting this series. I'm happy to hear your comments and questions and try to answer them as I'm able to. I'll also take this moment to point you toward the yeshiva's website, where there are a lot of shiurim from all of your different rebbeim, whether in chapels or midrash rachel, rebbeim and teachers, and feel free to enjoy those and to send your questions on to the people who speak. So let's move on now to another way to connect to Hashem in everyday life. One of the most powerful ways to connect to Hashem is by connecting to His people. Am Yisrael are called Am Hashem. I heard from Rav Moshe Shapiro Zatzal that the custom people have to say the name of Hashem, which is expressed in the two words Hashem Tzvakos, with that change of changing the Aleph of Tzvaos to a Kuf, because even the word Tzvaot, which refers to the Jewish people, is part of the name of Hashem. We are a Kodesh Baruch Hu's nation on this world, and if a person cares about the connecting to Hashem, you care about connecting to his people. One of the most powerful tefillahs we say on Yom Noroim and other days is Ovinu Malkeinu. Hashem is not just our king, he's our father. But the corollary of that is that every Jew is our brother and sister. And the same connection that connects us to Hashem connects us to them as well. So a person who wants to connect to Hashem has to follow in the footsteps of Moshe Rabbeinu. The first recorded action of Moshe Rabbeinu that we find in the Torah is Vayetzei Alechov Vayar B'siv Lasom. Moshe Rabbeinu went out and saw the suffering of his brethren. Rashi explains, Nosan eino v'libo lios He applied his eyes, which are the organ that can gather the information for us, but then libo, his heart, to feel their pain. This is the mita that Chazal called Nosei ba'olim chavero. And a Jew is meant to know what's happening to Jews around the world, to feel it, to on one hand be what's called tsarlo betzorosom, to feel pain in their pain, but also to be Sameach Bisim Chosam. Mara Shiva, Rabbi Shechter Shlita, trained me in this at a time when I was working in the computer field and I had to take trips to different countries. Once I went to Luxembourg and I hadn't really told him about the trip beforehand. When I came back, I was telling him about it and he asked me questions about the Jews of Luxembourg and I didn't really know much about them. I did my job, I tried to go to the shul, it was closed. He was not happy. He says, if you are going to a country like that, if you have a ticket, from your company to go there, part of your job should be to find out who the Jews are there, what's their situation, what do they need, how could we help them. And so too, when I discussed with them a trip I was a little bit reluctant to take to Frankfurt in Germany, he said, if you're going there, if you have the opportunity to go there, so find the Jews, and gave me those same instructions. That should be our marching orders, whether we're on vacation, whether we're on a business trip, Whatever other type of thing we have to do is to connect up with those people who are brothers and sisters in this tremendous endeavor that is the story of Am Yisrael from the beginnings of history till its eventual successful conclusion. A person, by recognizing what's happening to Am Yisrael, what's happening to the Jews around them, will sometimes be able to help practically. But even if not that, you include them in your tefillah. So many of us go through our tefillah every day without acknowledging the fact that the Shmonesri is written in Loshon Rabim, Refa'enu Hashem. Even if you happen to be incredibly healthy that day, there are countless others who unfortunately are not, and they have to be in your prayers. So too for redemption, so too for Parnassah, so Parnassah, all the different things that we're asking for, we have to think about others and to join with them and include with them. A Jew who does not care about other Jews isn't really part of it. The Rambam says that someone, even if he did no averas, but if he felt that he was foreign to the Jewish people, he didn't have simcha in their simchas, he didn't have tsar in their tsar, in no chilek lolom habo. He really isn't part of olom habo because that's something which is designated for kol Yisrael. Kol Yisrael yeshalem chilek lolom habo. You have to have that membership card of being part of Am Yisrael. And that membership card is caring and paying attention. So, how do you do it? What can we do? Obviously, even where you are in whichever place you are, keep your eyes open. Your eyes open to those around you. Sometimes you'll notice things that you didn't notice before 
when you're trying to see what do people need? What is their pain? What are they missing? What are their achievements? In a bigger sense, and without endorsing any particular one, a good Jewish Torah-based periodical oftentimes brings us news of Jews around the world we wouldn't know otherwise. How else would you know that in Switzerland they're talking about forbidding even the import of meat which was killed by Shechita? How do we know which countries are trying to outlaw bris mila? How do we know about the kibbutzim here that never had a shul and are just putting up a shul? and inviting people to give shurim. There's so many things happening to Am Yisrael, and that's our story. It's the story of our people, and all of us are connected to what's happening with everyone else. So I think that's a step to take in terms of connecting Hashem that's very tangible. Somehow the Hashgacha arranged that there are Jews in every corner of the world. Ramesh Shapiro Zetzal once said that he met a Jew from Tierra del Fuego, which I think is the southernmost point that's habitable in the world and some Jew from Alaska. From the deepest, furthest parts of the world, there are Jews everywhere. And that brings Hashem's presence everywhere, and that connects us to all those places and to all those Jews. And we have to try to connect as strong as we can. So I would like to encourage you to keep in touch with us. I'm happy to keep in touch with you. And all of us, by joining hands, one to the other to the other, will be able to connect all of Am Yisrael, Mitz Hashem. And then we fulfill the posk, Vahi Bishun Melech Bihis Asif Roshayom Yachad Shivta Yisrael. When we are together, then HaKadosh Baruch Hu's Melech. Thank you very much.